So hello everybody, welcome back to our fourth video of this video series about how to install Open Media Vault on a Western Digital Sentinel DX4000. After we had a look at the hardware, had prepared our USB thumb drive and a look into the BIOS, we are now ready to do the Debian install routine and that's what we are going to do today. So let's go right into it. Here we are in the Grub bootloader checking all the settings are correct, they are looking good and we can start the install routine. Select English, United States is fine, keyboard will be German, using the first network connection, take the suggested host name leaving domain blank, choosing a proper password for the root account, and entering it again. Fill in my full name. Martin is fine. Set a user password and re-enter it again. Time zone will be changed later on. We will use the entire disk and select our USB thumb drive. We want all files on one partition. Everything looks good. With a final yes, all changes are applied and the disk will be formatted. Choose your local Debian server, in my case Germany. Looks good. And now proxy. Here you can choose if you want to participate in a package usage survey. I select no. So here you can choose which software collection should be installed. As I don't have a video output, I don't need the desktop environment. I also don't need a print server, but I want to have an SSH server and the standard system utilities. So after a quick reboot, we are in Grub, can start Debian, log in as root, put in the password, and there we are. We have successfully installed Debian on a Western Digital DX4000. So this concludes the video for today. In the next video we will install Open Media Vault and have a look at the fan control. Thank you very much for watching and until then, take care and bye bye.